Hey, this is Gino421, and I'm going to be doing a review on Zensha, which is an amazing MMO. Um, it may put some of you off with its artistic style at first, but if you go into the game expecting to have fun, I can guarantee with this game you're going to have a ton of fun. I'm going to just cover the basics, show you a little bit about the game, and I'll probably do another review um, covering crafting and the combat system later on. All right. Zensha's character creation deals with choosing one of 20 unique avatars. You can't tweak your character's appearance from the start. You start with just the basic avatar that you chose. Throughout the game though, you get different costume pieces that you can tweak your character's appearance with. Right now, I'll just slowly scroll through the character models so you can see what each one looks like. Alright, now that we've chosen our character avatar and our name, we go into the classes. First up is the Vajra Guardian. All in all, it's basically the tank class. Next up is the Blade Warden, uh, the mainly the melee single target damage dealer. Next we have the Fire Mage, um, typical caster, low armor, low health. Then we have the Divine Enchanter, the powerhouse healer. Then we have the Dark Revenant, it can throw out debuffs, damage, and heals. The Stormlord is a long range caster that excels in stunning them. The Master Summoner is a magic using class that can summon warriors that helps them out. They can basically fit any role if they're needed for something. And finally we have the Rashka Warrior which is a caster and melee class that can fit the role of a tank or damage dealer. Alright, now that we're in game, as you can see, the game world is very vibrant. The game controls are your typical WASD controls with the mouse to move the camera. The camera is a little tough to get used to, in my opinion, at first, but that's not a bad thing. I do like the camera a lot. The combat is just like any other MMO, even though this isn't showing much right now. You use 1 through 0 on your uh, keyboard on your action bar right there. Um, and the combat is fairly typical for most MMOs. Alright, well I will fast forward through this video and show you the main town and get out of the tutorial. Now that we're in the starting town, I wanted to show you the quest system. If you open up your quest log once you get a quest, uh, there will be underlined text. If you click the text, it will give the guidance system that you see right there, and you can do that for quest objectives and quest givers. Once you finish your first quest, you get the option to choose your first companion pet. The companion pet is very interesting because they're very quirky, they say random things at different times, and when you use the pet, you can use them with the quest guidance system, and when you start a quest, you start the quest guidance system. You can click the button at the top, like you'll see me do in a second, and your pet will guide you where you need to go.
Now there are two types of different pets. There are your companion pets like you saw, and your mounts. Each gives you certain types of stats when you're using them. As you can see, there's the donkey mount that you get. That's the first mount you get. And later on, there are mounts that you can get that you can do combat with while you're on them. Now this pet right here is not one of them. But your pets level up. Uh, both the companions and your mounts. And the tributes they give you are increased with each level. You have to feed them, increase their happiness, and then they'll level up as time goes on. Now the last thing I'm going to show you in this intro video is the dancing. Um, you find a group in the cities and you start dancing with them. All you have to do is find someone in the group and follow them and your character will start dancing. You gain slowly increments of XP while you dance. It's a very unique feature and actually really funny to watch as it goes along. Um, basically they've given you ways to gain XP even while you're not playing the game because you can just minimize the game and do this. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, try out the game. I'll be playing. I'm new to the game as well, so when I get more advanced with this game and I know more about it, I will do another review, and hopefully you guys will join me on the hair server. My character's name is Sufo, and uh, feel free to subscribe to my videos, uh, leave a comment if you'd like, and follow me on Twitter if you want. Thanks, hope you enjoyed the video.